Well, so, by the way, several school districts, as we go to weather, including Philadelphia, we wanted to remind you, will once again dismiss early tomorrow because of this dangerous this heat outside. This has kind of been socked in for a while. Yep. It has. It really has. We got a little bit of a break over mm. the first part of the weekend, and then it just came back. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. worse than ever, we broke a record again today, and we've got another hot day on the way tomorrow as temperatures once again head for the 90s. But that should be the last day of it for a while. Let's take a look at what's going on outside right now. We'll take you out to Center City, a live look at the camera. We're here on the roof of the CBS Broadcast Center and not a bad evening. It's just very warm and very muggy. Not a very comfortable night for sleeping. Right now it's 80 in the city. Feels like 85. Down the shore it's 79 with a 77 degree dew point. That is a steam bath. And in the Pocono, 70 degrees feels like 70. But again, the temperature matching the dew point. That means the air is fully saturated and it definitely feels that way. Our heat advisory, these are the areas included. That goes through 7 o'clock tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening. Philadelphia, Camden and Gloucester counties right up toward the Lehigh Valley. These are the areas we expect to see near triple digit heat index values at the height of tomorrow afternoon. Storm scan three is dry for now, but here comes our next threat. Here comes a front that's going to impact us tomorrow tomorrow night especially and then we're going to tap into some of the moisture you see the circulation that's left over from what was tropical storm Gordon some of that may try to work in along the front for the weekend so overnight partly cloudy staying muggy 76 is our low tomorrow 92 another scorcher late in the afternoon some storms are going to form especially off to the north and west but you can see they're going to take their sweet time so most of the day is dry notice by seven o'clock we've got this line of thunderstorms moving through the Poconos and the Lehigh Valley may try to come through the city but not until around 10 or 11 at night. You can see this line of storms. Well, they will start to weaken once we lose the heating of the day, but if you are headed to the Eagles game around 10 or 11 tomorrow night toward the end of the game, we may see a pop-up shower or storm. Certainly something to watch out for. Hopefully we'll not have lightning or anything to disrupt the play, but again, definitely keep an eye on the sky. Front stalls overhead Friday, and we've got scattered showers, especially from the city on south as the front continues to push south through the course of the day. And when that front pushes south, it's going to usher in much, much cooler air Friday still humid but not as hot and then over the weekend highs are only in the low 70s but we will have the chance for showers here and there especially Saturday in the morning and then anytime on Sunday. Here's something we've got to watch, by the way. Hurricane Florence is now a major hurricane in the open Atlantic with sustained winds to 125 miles an hour. It's moving northwest at 10. Watch the track on this thing. At one point it looked like it was going to curve east of Bermuda. It's not going to happen like that anymore. The storm is going to continue to gain strength. It could be a category four by Monday evening, and this is one we're going to have to watch closely because all of our hurricane models take it south of Bermuda and a few try to curve it pretty close by the end of next week to the eastern seaboard. Now that's still over a week away, so it's definitely something we have on our radar. I will continue to watch that. Nothing to get too nervous about right now, but we've got to keep a weather eye on Hurricane Florence. Otherwise, your eyewitness weather seven day forecast shows that major your cool down low 70s over the weekend. If we get a little more rain on Sunday, it may stay in the 60s all day with an east wind. It is going to be such a change yeah. to go from this oppressive heat to feeling like you need a blanket to say, excuse heat me, you up. Did you say 60s? Yeah. Hey, what? Wow. It's crazy. Okay, okay. thank you. Yeah.